Hello friends! Today I have a pattern review of Truly Victorian 105 combination underwear. The pattern looks like this. I kind of have a lot to say about this pattern. <laughs> so the first thing you should know is this is an easy pattern to do. It is the instructions are clear, although a couple of them are wrong, and I'll go ahead and show you what those wrong items are. However, I don't like these. <laughs> I look at all my friends making their combinations, and they're so cute, and they have all this insertion lace, and yes, I could have done insertion lace on this. Uh, but it's obviously not part of the pattern, and I wanted to just try out the pattern to begin with. Um, also, they're very long. They're also made for someone with a butt. I unfortunately do not have one of those. I have this flat area that goes between my back and my legs. It's not really a butt. So if you're not, and I also don't have big hips, I have um, a larger stomach, but a small hips, and my, my legs are actually pretty small. I am a true apple. Actually, I'm kind of like a lolly, an apple lollipop. Anyway, uh, this isn't very flattering for that kind of shape, because it's made for someone with very hip, very like a hippie person, and someone who has more junk in their trunk, as it were. I would love to be one of those people. I am not one of those people. So it's not the most flattering of uh, garments on me. And so it's very long. I cut it a little bit short and it's still very long, uh, which is period accurate. Um, but I would really like to have them be much shorter. Like I would like them to be long shorts rather than short pants, which is what they are. Um, so what you're seeing here is it pinned onto my dress form because my dress form doesn't have a, a crotch area so I can't actually get it to be on my, my dress form. So this right here is the front and this is actually the back of it. It is a very fitted garment, it's very cute, it is true to size, the Vic truly Victorian makes great patterns and they come together. I do really like this sleeve, it has like a little, I think they call this a tulip sleeve, um, and I think they're beautiful. I think the pattern was fairly easy to use. Let me talk to you about the sort of mistakes in the pattern. I don't I don't actually know if they're mistakes or I just can't read correctly. I pointed this out in one of my vlogs. They have a picture right here and it says step 20. Um, that's not actually, doesn't go with step 20. It goes with step number 21, I believe. Um, so that's a little confusing, especially if you don't know what you're doing. And then step 21 tells you to pleat the garment, but never tells you to sew it. So, if you don't know to sew it, you'd be very confused as to what to do now. I, in other places, they tell you to pleat it and then sew it, and that's a consistent thing with Truly Victorian. Otherwise, if they just said pleated, I would assume to sew it, I guess. But they don't tell you, they tell you that everywhere else but there, so that's very confusing. Although, in this picture, there are stitch marks, so I figured out to just sew it. So it did come together. There's just a couple easy mistakes in this pattern. Um, I think, maybe I'm wrong, um, that I would have fixed had I been the one to create this pattern or, you know, reprint this pattern for sale. Anyway, um, as with all of Truly, Victoria, tr Truly Victorian patterns, I think that the pattern is very good. It is well equipped to get you through the pattern. There's pictures where you need pictures to see what's going on. Um, it does fit true to size, like if it tells you that it's going to be, you know, for this waist and this breast, it is going to be for that waist and that breast, like that's for sure. Um, they are very consistent with that. The girls at Truly Victorian make great patterns. So the thing about me not liking it is personal preference. <laughs> I will wear it. I absolutely will wear it. And I will wear it with Victorian clothes to find out maybe there's some secret sauce that I'm not getting that makes these actually super awesome to be wearing under Victorian clothes. Um, so it's not a matter of will this get any use, I, I will try it out. The other thing I'm, I have questions about is there's, I put nine buttons on here. There's no instructions on how many buttons to put or how far to put them away. So you just have to like do what you want. So I did what I wanted based on the front of this pattern has a picture and it has nine buttons on it. So I did that. Um, and I just figured out the math because math is not that hard sometimes. <laughs> just not very good at it. Anyway, uh, so I'm worried about these buttons under a corset. Like, if you have these buttons and then a corset busk and then potentially buttons on a Victorian gown right here, that's a lot of 
they're there all the way down the front. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I'm going to find out. This is all just an experiment to see how it works. Anyway, um, so the pattern review is mixed in that it's a good pattern. Um, other than that little blip, I would say it's a great pattern to use if you want to make combinations that look like these. I feel like a minion in these. <laughs> they just make me look silly. Um, and especially if you have larger hips or you have, you know, a rump, this is the pattern for you. I mean, it will look super cute. I might suggest shortening these legs a little bit. They're ridiculous. It is split drawer, which I'm frankly confused about. <laughs> I get it. I get how the operation works. I'm confused about the consistency of that being effective and not like, let's just say misfiring. <laughs> what happens if like, it doesn't open the right way? What do you do then? So questions like that arise. So that's why I'm going to wear them and find out how they operate. The right thing about them is they're all cotton, so they're completely washable. Anyway, uh, those are my thoughts on this pattern. I feel like if you want to make split drawers, split drawered combination underwear that look like this, this is a fantastic pattern for you, minus that little, like, that little blip. But if you want to make the sexy Bernadette style, perhaps it's not for you, because these are not they. Uh, you might be looking at taking uh, extant drawings and then repatterning them yourself. Um, taking this pattern and adjusting it might be another thing. That might be something I try at some point um, to, to shorten these down a lot. Um, I don't actually, I love this sleeve. I think it's super cute. I don't know if it's strictly necessary. I might just remove it altogether. Um, another thing they never tell you to do is finish your seams um, in these. They just leave them open. So I have just come to the habit of always zigzagging around every pattern piece before I get started because that seems to be helpful. And, and in this case, it was very helpful because now I can see all these edges and they are in fact finished so definitely use your own logic on that I feel like these darts were perfect though they're really long they go from here to here and they, they're the kind that go out and then in again um, and they actually made it fit my body perfectly okay um, I think that's all I have to say about these if you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below if you have combinations you have a better pattern that you like um, I'm dying to find a better pattern for me. Um, so if you have one, please share it. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!